Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets review video. In this video, we have the My Passport SSD from Western Digital. So this is a portable SSD that has a ton of features, including fast transfer speed of up to 1,050 megabytes. It includes built-in encryption and also automatic backups. So if you hook it up to your computer, you can use it as a backup drive with the free software that's included. It's also small, making it easier to transport and more portable. And they also say that it is shock resistant. All that for around $160 on Amazon depending on the size that you get. So check the description. I'll have links down there to all the different sizes and colors available of the My Passport SSD. So in this video, we'll not only be doing an unboxing, we'll look at the software that's available for this, and then I'll tell you my experience with the transfer speeds and its reliability. Let's go ahead and open it up and check it out. So it comes in a very nice cardboard box, and while I'm getting this open, just wanna thank Western Digital for sending me this device for free so I could test it out. Thank you very much. All right, so we have it open now, and as you can see, there is the My Passport. Very small, smaller than any modern cell phone. It's also extremely light, so this does not have much weight to it, which is great if you're gonna be doing any backpacking or traveling where you wanna carry this with you and you don't wanna to have too much weight. See what else is in this box here. Looks like we have some information right here about how to use it and set it up with your computer. We'll go through that later. And then we have the actual cable for transferring data from the SSD to your computer. Now this is compatible with both Mac and Windows. And as you can see, the cable here is type C. So the connector on the actual My Passport SSD is a type C and that allows for much higher transferred speeds. And if you wanted to, they include a little adapter. So you plug that in there. And then if you don't have a Type-C connector on your computer, you could just use the Type-A standard USB connector. Taking a closer look at the My Passport SSD, the outside here seems to be a very durable plastic. It doesn't feel cheap or brittle in any way. You do have some nice texture on it, which provides grip when you're holding it. And then you have a Western Digital kind of engraved logo right here that just kind of looks cool and adds a nice accent of shine. Now, as you can see, there are no connectors anywhere on this except for on the bottom right here, we have that type C connector. So you don't have to worry about anything snagging or breaking on this. And the connector is also laid within the device. So it's very smooth, It'd be very hard to break that. And the size of this is actually really impressive at only about an inch and a half wide. The length is going to be three and a half inches and then it's less than a half an inch thick. So as you can see, I have an iPhone eight right here and it is much smaller than the iPhone eight. Very impressed with the size. So now that we've taken a closer look at the My Passport SSD, I'm gonna go ahead and get it hooked up to my computer. We'll start using it. I'll get the software installed and see how it works. So this is actually really cool. I just plugged the My Passport SSD into my computer and you don't have to actually download any software. They include the software for both Windows and Mac on the drive. So you just access the drive, find install discovery for your operating system, and then open it up. And then it will start installing the software needed to encrypt the drive and also automatically backup data from your computer to the drive. I wanted to give you a quick overview of WD Discovery, which is the software that comes with this drive. And you can easily get to it by just opening up the status menu on your computer, finding WD Discovery, and then clicking on it. Now, as you can see, it does show my drive right here when it's connected. And it also shows this space that is available on the drive. Now there's this gear right here, so I can select that and interact with the drive, such as setting a password. This will encrypt the drive and that password will be required in order to actually access any of the data on the drive. So it's very simple, you just select that, set the password, and then you have to enter that password every time you connect the to computer and you wanna view the data. Now, right here, UAS, this is a protocol used for the drive communicating with your computer. By default, this will come on. This is turned off for me because I was having an issue with WD Discovery not being able to see my drive. So I called support and they said to turn this off. And once I did that, it worked perfectly. So I recommend turning this off if you're having any issues with the drive not being recognized by the software. Additionally, in here, you can eject it. Now, if you wanna use the feature of automatic backups, that's gonna be up in the app section of WD Discovery. So we'll select that. And once you get here, they will have different modules you can install. And this is just going to be WD Backup. So if we open that up, it'll open up a new window here. And this is where we can set up backup plans. So all you need to do is go into Add Backup Plan, select your SSD, tell it what files on your computer or folders you wanna back up, how often to back them up, and it'll do it automatically based on your configuration. So I have it configured to check every hour for new files and back up the drive and change it accordingly. Now you can also just access the drive through the file explorer. But one cool thing about this is if you've set a password for the drive, encrypted it and everything like that, and you're on a different computer that doesn't have WD Discovery installed on it, 
the first thing you'll see when you open up the drive is WD Drive Unlock. So if I open that up, I'll then be prompted to enter the password for the drive, select Unlock. And then as you can see here, I have a new drive and I can open it up and I can get into all my data here. Now, in order to test the speed of the My Passport SSD, I'm going to be using a benchmarking software called Crystal Disk Mark. So I'll just go ahead and run this real quick and we'll see what speeds we get out of this drive. They advertise a transfer speed up to 1050 megabytes a second. As you can see, my read speed was 791 megabytes a second, and then my write speed was 887 megabytes a second. So overall, not that bad. Very happy with this so far. And that really doesn't bother me. To me, they advertise up to that speed. That's probably gonna be in a perfect condition. And with my experience with actually transferring large video files to the drive, didn't have any problems there. And I was actually happy with the speed. All right, so that was a quick overview of the software. And like I said, they're very happy with the transfer speed on the My Passport SSD. I think the price of around $150 for a terabyte of SSD external storage or 230 for two terabytes in a small size like this that is durable and you don't have to worry about it breaking or taking up too much room is a really good price. Now, a couple things to note when using the device, it did get a little warm, not too hot, but considering how small this is, it's kind of to be expected. Another thing I did notice is if I used the adapter here for the USB type A connector, the speeds did go down to around 500 megabytes a second. So it really halves the speed that is advertised. When I was in the type C connector, that's where I got those test results. Also, the software does work pretty well for backups. I haven't noticed any issues with it not backing up any of my files automatically. Like I said, I did have some issues with the drive connecting to my computer and being recognized by the Western Digital software. But after contacting support, they were very quick to resolve that for me, and it was a very easy fix. All right, so that was an unboxing and review of the Western Digital My Passport SSD. If you have any questions about this device, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'm going to add an Amazon affiliate link to all three of the different sizes for this device. You can find those on Amazon. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.